welcome back to my channel this is your girl Eddie J Smith here today's video is going to be so cool you guys it's gonna be so cool because we are going back in time in America history I have found some America products from back in the day and I had this idea come to me and I thought you know why not do a full face of all America products. products so if you've been watching my videos you must have seen a video where I talked about my first, you know, Mary Kay makeup products being the MK Signature. I was obsessed with the cheek color products, eye colors and all that stuff. So your girl found her products again and I am so happy. I'm so excited. When I say I went in, honey, I went in. I went all the way, okay? Went all the way for you guys. I found the full coverage foundations. I found the MK Signature loose powder and the shade I have here is Golden Bronze. I remember this one. I never actually tried this before, but I remember seeing it where in a, in a store where I used to shop back home. So this is my first time trying this particular powder. But I did find my MK Signature Cheek Color Duet. I'm super excited, okay? This is the shade I used when I was in college that I was obsessed with. This is my fave. Every day, going to class, going for lectures, this was always what I wore. And it's a shade Gold Canyon, and this is what it looks like. It's gorgeous, and I really love it. So I also picked up two of the Mary Kay concealers, the old Mary Kay concealers that we um, used to have, the black tube ones. So I got two shades of that. I picked up bronze one and I picked up the yellow concealer. We're gonna have fun today guys, like I'm not playing with y'all. These products are new to me, like I don't remember these particular ones, but when I saw them I was like, this is so cool. All right, so this is Garnet Gold and this is Raisin Rosy, all right? So I got a ton of eye colors, the MK Signature eye colors. So I wanna show you guys this particular eye color, which was a favorite of mine, and that shade's called Lagoon, all right? I was obsessed with this color, I really loved it. I have another absolute favorite, which is Safari Sunset. I did find it and it is coming, but it's not here yet, but I just wanted to get this video out because I've kind of been sitting on these products for weeks now. So a lot of these products I found through my sister consultant in the area and the others I found from a lovely group on Facebook, which I don't know if it's supposed to be a secret group or not, but if you're a American consultant, you probably already know the group I'm talking about. There are actually two groups that I found like that where you know you can find you know your old favorites that you know obviously they don't sell anymore so that's what we're going to be doing today and i hope you guys are as excited as i am okay now this is just purely fun this is just more like going down memory lane and you know reliving your childhood love or whatever it is let me know in the comments if you guys remember these products and you know let us know what your favorite products from the mk signature days were and you know let's just relieve those moments and talk about it all right you guys so browser on my brows are done let's get started so the first thing we're going to go in with is our American red and facial spray you guys know i do this step when i want you know my foundation to be flawless So next up, I'm gonna set down my primer with the Mary Kay Makeup Finishing Spray. So I was able to get my hands on the Mary Kay Full Coverage Foundation. This is the Bronze 600, and I got a 507, okay? That's what I could find. So I'm gonna mix both. Maybe I'll do like a comparison video of the Full Coverage Foundation with the Medium Coverage so we can see if there's any difference. Yeah, this shade is what I remember. Cause I feel like the 600 I have now, let me see, let me show you guys. Show you. So this is the full coverage 600 foundation and this is the medium coverage 600. I don't know if you guys notice what I'm noticing, but the medium coverage is running a little red than the old one and they're both 600. When I first, you know, started using Mary Kay foundations in Nigeria, I used to use a 600, you know? Kind of had like a yellowish undertone you know, which is what I know the 600 for. I don't know why they changed that. I prefer the old undertone, but that's 507 and that's 600. Okay, so there it's all mixed. We're just going to apply that. I'm going to use my Mary Kay sponge. So this is full coverage, so I am so excited. So I do have some acne spots here. You can see one right here if it covers it fully. Wow, okay, that's covering. All right, so the foundation's on, so that's it mixed together, and I think it looks pretty good. I really like the finish of it, very nice. So next we're gonna go on concealer, and like I said, I have two concealers. I actually got the bronze one and the yellow concealer. We're gonna try them both. Okay, so that's the yellow concealer, and that's the bronze one. Yeah, that is too bright, that is too, too bright. So 
just here and then I'm going to put the bronze one on the rest. Right off the bat, I can tell you that the consistency of this concealer feels and looks different from the new one that we have from the Perfecting Concealer, which is to be expected anyway, so. I feel like the bronze one of this concealer is not as light as the Perfecting Concealer in bronze one, which, you know, that's fine. Yeah, I like the way this is looking. So next up, we're going to try out the MK Signature Loose Powder in Golden Bronze. Doesn't look as yellow as I thought it would. So I'm just dipping my sponge into that, just so we don't have too much. I'm going to just press onto my hand and just start at the edge and see what that color is looking like. Okay, it's looking good. Yeah super bright maybe I should have gone for like a bronze one but it still looks good I like it okay so just apply the powder all over all right so now we're gonna set our makeup down so we're gonna move on to the eyes and I'm just gonna apply some primer so the first shade I'm going to go in with is called woodland if I remember correctly, these MK signatures are always super creamy. All right. Okay. Hmm. Still pigmented. So the next shade I have here is Cinnabar. You guys, Cinnabar. I'm impressed that after all this while, these colors still do have pigment to them. Looks nice. It's coming together. Okay. So she looking cute. I like that. So we're just rolling with it. I'm going to use as many as I can. But the next shade I have here is Current Glaze. It's like a purple, like a plum. So I'm just going to deepen the outer crease with that. Just give us even more depth on our eye look. So that's a color glaze and I have three more colors to go. Oh, actually, hold on. So I have four more colors left, okay? So I'm gonna try and use all of them today. That's just my goal. I'm gonna go with Lagoon, okay? My old love. So just put in her and like the outer V. Okay, and then the crease. Not going high up, just in the crease. So this is color number four, you guys. With makeup, you can do as much colors as you want. It's just all about how you apply them and how you blend them. So I'm just taking the bronze one. Carve our lid. All right, so we've carved out our crease with the concealer. But this shade is called Tutti Fruity. I don't know if the light's letting you see it. Just press it into that. And I'm gonna put that here. See what kind of, ooh, that is pretty. Yes. I know what we're gonna go in with. So we're gonna go in with Lagoon. So remember this shade right here? It looks light blue or whatever, but it kind of comes off kind of like goldish, greenish in there, almost like iridescent. So I'm just gonna pop that right here. Okay, so she is giving me more of a green. Now talk about a colorful eye look, huh? So just dipping into woodland. I'm gonna just smoke my bottom lash line with that. A little bit of cinnabar too. Okay, so I've lined my eyes now and I'm going to actually go with Onyx, which is black. I don't have any dark shade here. I wanna use that to just kind of deepen the crease a little bit more. All right, you guys, so the lashes are on. I actually went and intensified the lagoon, you know, got the, some more blue up there in the crease, and I used Steely Eyeliner on my waterline, and then went over that with some lagoon, the blue shade, and the current mood at the bottom. All right, so we just use that to smoke the bottom lash line, 
And now I'm gonna go in with Bamboo, which is the final shade here that we haven't tried. And I'm gonna put that in my brow bone, okay? I'm just gonna put Bamboo right here. I think I should've done this before I did my lashes, huh? <laughs> So to highlight my inner tear duct, I'm actually gonna go in with gold status right here. Okay, for that pop. And I'm gonna see the pop. Where's the pop? There's the pop. Okay, just going in with the Coco Contour. All right. All right, so next I'm gonna just highlight my Chroma Fusion. Highlighter. So now I'm moving on to the blush, which is my favorite blush of all time. Just going on the brown shade first. I'm going to just apply that and see how that looks. Okay. Still as creamy as I remember. I'm just gonna tap a little bit into the pink shade, like this, dust off any excess. Intensify that a little bit. Just a touch of love, a little bit. Okay, so now for the lips, I'm just going to highlight my Cupid's bow real quick. So we have two shades here, and I'm gonna start with this one just to see what that gives me. So I've lined my lips, and I'm just gonna go in with Raisin Rosy. It has its own lip brush, but I'm not gonna use that. So I'm actually gonna go into the other palette, into the other lip palette, and I'm gonna pick up that gold color over there. And just apply that right here. Oh, wow, look at that. Okay. Definitely giving me 90s vibe. I'm gonna take a little bit of this one, let's just play, why not? Okay, it's coming off more berry than red. Okay, so that's it. I'm just going to set my face one last time. So that is it, you guys. We are done. We are done with the full face of Mary Kay from back in the day, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me taking you on a journey back to the old days of Mary Kay products, you know? I mean, not, not that old, not so long ago, actually. But, you know, the MK Signature era, the full coverage. I have a feeling this is probably like a, a limited edition launch, but... Yeah, I really, really had fun with this video today. And it was so much fun just to show you guys that, you know, the old products are still, you know, just as bomb as they were. Um, granted, this is just, you know, a fun little video, fun little tutorial I wanted us to do. And, you know, just taking us down memory lane, okay? Just all in good fun. Mary Kay does have, you know, great new products now. You know, the industry has improved over the years. Great new skincare, great new makeup line. Um, but you know, it was just nice. I thought to play with the old MK signature products and in the old foundation that we had and I do love it and clearly, you know, we're still looking good. Okay. So thank you so much for joining me today. Comment down below and let me know what was your favorite MK product from back in the day. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button on your way out. And of course, hit the notification bell button at the corner so you get notified every time I upload. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Every like, every comment, every share supports my channel. I'm taking requests, you guys. Let me know what kind of video you want to see on my channel. We are growing together. So, you know, I love to hear from you guys. Okay, thank you for watching today and I will see you on the next one. Bye!